dear students today we are going to discuss about the next uml diagram its object diagram so before we move on to that object diagram first we have to understand the difference between class diagram and object diagram and this information it's very much helpful to you to create a object diagram in star uml software so in the previous video i explained what is class diagram and how to draw the class diagram what kind of different notations which is available to draw a class diagram in star uml software right now i will explain the simple example how to draw the class diagram and how that class diagram it will be differ from object diagram right and first i will explain what is a class diagram as a class diagram shows the structure of a system it's like a blueprint model or it gives the complete structure or a static view of the system and it describes the classes and their relationships in the class diagram we are creating multiple classes and each class how it is associated with another class we are creating some kind of relationship between the classes this information is present in the class diagram and as a class diagram is an abstract view of a system so this is the next most important part of a class diagram so how to we understand class diagram so this is the static model or blueprint of your system or it shows the structure of your system and it describes the classes and their relationship between one another or we can call it as which is called as abstract view of an system coming to that object diagram as an object diagram shows the real time behavior of your system right so real time behavior it means each time when you are executing your program it's a uh, depends upon the input depends upon the situation it will be act in real time scenario so that's why we call it as which is called as real time behavior of your system i will give you a simple example for this object diagram for example you are giving uh, the input value of i is equal to 1 and after the first iteration is over when you are incrementing the value of i is i plus plus so first time you are initiating the value is 1 second iteration the value of i if it is incremental so now the i value it becomes 2 third time it's a 3 4 5 likewise it's a depends upon the input each iteration it will be substituting different inputs it's a depends upon the situation or it will act like a behavior of your system in real time so that's why we are giving as an object diagram so is the real time behavior of your system so it's keep on it substituting some kind of different inputs it uh, depends upon the situation right and it uh, describes the interaction between objects at some point during the run time so that's why i mentioned here it creating some interaction between the object at a uh, some time so it some point or sometimes it means that so first iteration is over so second time if the value is incremented or if it is decremental during that time the object interaction it will be happen so after that the value if it is changed again the interaction of your input or the output of your the looping statement it will be differ so that's why we mentioned here it's a interaction between the object at some point during the run time now as an object diagram it's an instance of a class this is the next most important aspect of object diagram so whatever the information which is present in your class diagram so that information 
when we are move on to that object diagram we are creating the instance so each time the instance of the information it will be changed over the time so that's why which is call it as an object diagram it's an instance of a class so first time if the student register number is 1000 second time the instance of the student register number it will be changed as 1001 second time 1002 1003 1004 so that's why we call it as as an object diagram it's an instance of a class right now coming to that as a class diagram just i have created two classes so one is uh, student personal information and the another class name which is called as student mocks now as a student personal information class have some set of attributes and operations and the second class student mark it's also come have some set of attributes and operations so for the student personal information and students mocks i have created the composes relationship so what it mean it's a strongly depend on the another class so as a student mark class it's a strongly depend on student personal information class so without student personal information class the student mark class cannot exist or cannot run independently so that's the meaning of composition right now coming to the the attributes whatever i mentioned here as a student personal information as we know that student id or register number student name department course section semester year email and phone number right so each attributes we have to derive the the visibility of your attribute it's a, this is the symbol hashtag it's mentioned as a predictor so it means that i am going to use the student id and name in the the student more class so that's why i mentioned as uh, predicted uh, visibility mode and the remaining all the attributes i mentioned as the public the plus symbol it represents the public and as a minus it mentioned as a private so for the student email and student phone number i have created as a private mode right and each attribute it's a followed by colon and we have to differentiate the attribute name and the data type of your each attribute here as a student id i mentioned as a string student name is string department course and for the student section is a character maybe either a section b section right and coming to the student phone number it's a number so it's a depends upon the the list of attributes whatever you are created you can change the the data time right coming to that the list of operations for the students personal information as an add student update student display the student information and if you don't want that student information we can delete that student right so this is the list of operations i mentioned here and all the uh, the operations i used as your public uh, the visibility mode and the written type of each operations i mentioned as your void here right and it does not support it does not return any values to the operating system right and coming to that student mocks as your student id and name it is derived from the the student personal information and i have list out there are four subject subject 1 2 3 4 and followed by integer data type and coming to the, the list of operations in the student mark class it's a total mocks average mark we have to find the grade and results right so this is a very simple uh, class diagram for a student information system or student mock system right now coming to that object diagram so as an object diagram just you look at the, the difference between each diagram you can get the clear information about so what kind of information which is present in the class diagram what kind of information we have to present in that object diagram right now coming to that object diagram as a object diagram we have to use the object name colon 
followed by the class name and all the information you have to make it as underline so you don't want to uh, create a underline by default the star uml software itself when you are creating that object diagram it will be created automatically right but here look at the class diagram as a student mark or student personal information there is no underline right but in that object diagram whenever you are creating that object the notation itself it created by underline mode right here as a student is my object name and the student personal information is my class name we have to differentiate the object name and class name with the help of colon right now coming to that student id so here i mentioned the abstract view i don't know what exactly the student id it will be present during the run time right but as an object diagram i know that what exactly the student id that's a student computer science 2023 0001 i am going to use the student id of the student object when that object it's calling student personal information class all of you clear about that now as a student name it's your john student department is computer science course is bsc computer science section a section semester third semester and second year and john yes cs that's a student of computer science 2023001 at gmail.com and followed by i mentioned some phone number coming to that uh, the next object for uh, the same student mark class so this information it's a uh, derived from or it's called from the student personal information the same object name i am used to here as a student but here the student more class it's called by the object of student now the student id as it is same student name is same and the subject more details for the subject one it's 80 subject 2 89 subject 3 92 subject 4 72 right there is no more information which is present in the object diagram so it means that there is no the operations we no need to mention that operations that operation it will be performed during the run time whenever we are calling that particular uh, function whenever we are calling the particular class right as an object diagram it shows only the exact informations whatever you are substituting for your attributes alone we cannot give that the exact input to find the operations which we going to perform during the run time right so this is the simplest way you can get the clear information about the difference between class and object diagram right so as a class diagram we have the class name followed by list of attributes and operations and we have to create the uh, the relationship between the multiple classes coming to the object diagram as an object diagram shows the object name followed by class name and we have to mention the exact the input whatever you are going to give at a run time so that information which is present in that object diagram so and uh, here object diagram also we have to create the relationship this is the uh, the linked object that's a direct association i have created with uh that is uh, two different object name and so this is the simplest way you can differentiate the class diagram and object diagram i hope this information it's a uh, helpful to you all in that next video i will draw the object diagram in the star uml software for the students information system and you can get the complete picture about so how to draw the object diagram and what kind of information which is present for the students information system in the next video thank you thanks for watching